Now, in a thinly veiled attack on Christmas and other Christian holidays, a child care association is recommending more holiday inclusivity, they call it, for families who celebrate um, other days like Ramadan, Diwali or Pride. Uh, the left makes this argument at Christmas every year, but why can't we just be inclusive of Christians as well, John? I mean, I can tell you, as a non-Christian uh, migrant, I have never heard a migrant complain about Christmas or being felt left out of Christmas celebration. It seems to be self-loathing Australians who want to be offended on behalf of the migrant community. Uh, it's self-loathing Christian Australians, Rita. I have never, ever spoken to anyone who celebrates Ramadan, who celebrates Diwali, who would have the slightest objection to the notion of Christmas, to the notion of Christmas trees, to saying Merry Christmas. Uh, this is not coming from those migrant multicultural communities. This is coming from third, fourth, fifth generation Australians, predominantly Christian, who don't like the country they are now living in and who want to change it in their image and in the name of diversity. It's exactly as Tina said earlier, it is a little bit of the erosion of the things that keep us together and unite us. Oh, and you know what, Tina? So many migrant families I know who are not Christian yep. have Christmas trees and do yep. observe these traditions and they love it. It makes you uh, part of your new homeland. And, and yet we, we have this argument come up. It's like Australia Day. Every Christmas we've got these small group of agitators who want to destroy what brings people joy. We've just got to scream very loudly that, you know, everyone loves Sandra and baby Jesus at this time of year, no matter what religion you are. Um, <laughs> it, it, it's a time to celebrate. And we're very respectful of, of Ramadan, of Jewish holidays, of every religion. I think the least you can do is rejoice in our in our celebration of Christianity at this time of year. We don't ask for much, Rita. So, uh, you know, let's hope uh, this continues.